this season is really dark and mystical and different in tone from any other season. We love doing our superheroes and it's super great and nothing's better than a superhero, except for sometimes a villain. The beauty of being the villain is that whatever rules have been established do not apply to me. No matter where she is, she will dominate the space. Well, the mayhem is also May Bennett. She worked in an office and realized that she had magical powers. Mother Mayhem is the mother of Sebastian slash brother blood and the architect of his rise. We really talked a lot about a mother's sacrifice to get her child through the world. So controlling over her son, so manipulative, so destructive. Mother Mayhem is a formidable foe for us. The Titans interfere with me because they're trying to rescue Sebastian. And whenever I saw the Titans, I would just look at them and be like, you little fuckers. What do you want? Sorry, you have to believe this or something. I don't know. I'm Mother Mayhem, you know, I swear. Jinx is an elemental sorcerer, so she has magical powers. And she can do a number of different things with telekinesis, moving stuff with my mind, freezing people. The very first time that we see her, she conjures whirlwind destruction, and when it settles, she's gone. She's also a bit of a lone ranger, and she has to learn to work as part of a team. Look at us, just like old times. You blew my chance to get Two-Face. <laughs> You came out on top. That's all that mattered to you. I thought you liked me on top. Jinx is an old foe slash friend of Dick Grayson's from their time in Gotham. She's the character that pokes the bear. We need her because she has an experience in the dark magic that we don't have. You've helped the Titans, and this is yours. Help how? With her magic problems. She's a bit grumpy and reluctant, but you could tell that she was kind of liking these people now. This won't work. Not that I care. Suit up. One of the challenges with Jinx was that in the books, she doesn't have a whole lot to her costume. So we took visual cues from the books and then we incorporated that into a full super suit and ultimately create a design that had a real relationship to the elemental nature of her powers. It has kind of a skirt, gold boots, armor on the shoulders, and is pretty ornate. <laughs> We brought Mother Mayhem's wardrobe to our costume team with the goal of capturing the dark majesty of that character. We started with no eyebrows and pale look that then progresses into a tribal look. The more angry she gets and her hair is like a mohawk. I always thought it would be fun to have really exaggerated shoulders with tight leather pants so she could move and like the raver boots to really elevate her, like a rock star in a way. If you're wearing that suit and you say these lines and you can still manage for people to be engaged on an emotional level and really feel something that is worth telling. With a genre like this, you really can pull all the strings. My character is going to surprise the fans. The storyline is fun and surprising. If you see me on screen and you see yourself, know that you can do it too. Anyone can be a superhero.